Two of the last derivative formulas that we're going to look at have to deal with the natural log and the exponential function. We're asking the question, how do we take derivatives of the natural log of x and e to the x? And we're going to address each of these individually, starting with the natural log of x with some formulas. The first formula is that the derivative of the natural log of x is going to be equal to the reciprocal of the x. That's going to be the main formula for this half of the lesson. Although we can combine it with the chain rule, because quite often inside the natural log is a function like g of x. Now, with the g of x as the inside function, we know the derivative of natural log is 1 over the stuff, the reciprocal. And then the chain rule says we multiply by the derivative of the stuff inside it, which would be g prime of x. And if we multiply across, we get this interesting result. That's the derivative of g divided by g. So the natural log of a function is the derivative of the function divided by the function. Let's take a look at some examples that we can see these formulas work out. First example we're going to do is f of x equals 4x times the natural log of x. And as you can see, this is going to be just a basic product rule of 4x and the natural log of x. So the derivative of f of x is equal to the derivative of the first, 4, times natural log of x, plus the derivative of the second part, which is 1 over x, times the first part, which is 4x. And now we can do a little bit of simplifying. The x over x divide out. And so we're left with 4 natural log of x plus 4 times 1 is 4. So the derivative of the natural log being 1 over x, and it works inside the product rule just like any other derivative would work. Let's take a look at the second formula that I gave, and that's the natural log of a function. Let's say f of x is equal to the natural log of 5x squared plus 3x. Well, we know that the derivative of the function, the derivative of natural log is 1 over the stuff. Then what we can do is multiply in the numerator by the derivative of that stuff, which is 10x plus 3. And that then becomes our derivative using the chain rule with the natural log formula. Let's try one more example. Let's say f of x equals 5 times the natural log of 2x minus 1 all that raised to the sixth power. Well, this is just a big chain rule. On the outside, we've got the sixth power. So using our exponent rule, f prime of x is 5 times 6, or 30, times the stuff raised to the fifth power, times the derivative of the inside. Well, on the inside, we have a natural log. The derivative of natural log is 1 over the stuff, 1 over 2x minus 1, times the derivative of the stuff, which in this case is 2. A little bit of simplifying to clean this up. 2 times 30 is 60. Natural log of 2x minus 1 to the fifth power all over the 2x minus 1 for our final derivative. So the derivative of natural log, really straightforward. It's the derivative of the stuff divided by the stuff. The derivative of natural log is 1 over the stuff. 
Another formula that we're going to add to our derivative list is that of the exponential. And very similar, we're going to start with the formulas broken down in much the same way. First, the derivative of the exponential e to the x. e to the x is our favorite derivative because its derivative turns out to be itself. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And so that is really the big formula that we need to make sure we have memorized. Now again, we can use the chain rule with this of e to the g of x power. So we're dealing with e to the stuff. We know the derivative of e to the stuff in part a is e to the stuff. And then we just have to multiply by the derivative of the stuff, although usually we're going to put the derivative first just because it looks nicer. So let's take a look at some examples. Let's start with the function f of x equals e to the negative 4x plus 6. f prime of x, its derivative, the derivative of e to the stuff is e to the stuff, e to the negative 4x plus 6. And notice I left a gap in front for me to multiply by the derivative of the stuff, which in this case is negative 4. Let's try another function. Let's do f of x is equal to e to the 2x cubed minus x minus 7. The derivative of e to the stuff is e to the stuff, 2x cubed minus x minus 7, times the derivative of the stuff, which we'll put in parentheses as 6x minus 1. And we're done. Let's try another one, this time a little more involved. Let's use some product rule along with our e to the x formula. Let's say f of x is 6x cubed e to the 2x plus 1. So you see we have a product, the 6x cubed times the e to the stuff. So to calculate our derivative, We'll take the derivative of the first part, which is 18x squared, times the second part, e to the 2x plus 1, plus the derivative of the second part, which is e to the 2x plus 1, times the derivative of the stuff, which is just 2, times the first part, which is 6x cubed. Little cleanup. The 18x squared e to the 2x plus 1 doesn't do anything, but we can multiply 2 times 6 to get 12x cubed e to the 2x plus 1 for our final answer. Let's wrap up with one problem that combines both um, the exponential and the natural log together into one problem. Let's do e to the 3x times the natural log of 3x. Well, again, we notice we have a product, the e to the stuff and the natural log of the stuff. So using our product rule, the derivative of e to the 3x is e to the stuff times the derivative of the stuff times the 3 times the natural log of 3x plus the derivative of the second part. The derivative of natural log is 1 over the stuff, 1 over 3x, times the derivative of the stuff times the 3 times the first part, which is e to the 3x. Only thing to clean up is to reduce out the 3s. And so for our final derivative, 
we have 3e e to the 3x natural log of 3x plus e to the 3x over x. So it's a shorter video today because we're just looking at two simple formulas. The exponential formula, the derivative of e to the stuff is e to the stuff. Chain rule says times the derivative of the stuff. And the derivative of the natural log is 1 over the stuff. And if we're using the chain rule, it's times the derivative of the stuff. So take a look at the homework assignments so you can practice some of these to get really comfortable and confident with them. And then in class, we'll start taking a look at some applications of these. Natural logs and exponentials e to the x are very useful in business and economics. And so we've got some uh, very useful applications that we can look at with these derivatives. So we'll see you in class where we will discuss it further.